Well, tomorrow, of course, uh, Georgia will be uh, facing Alabama in the SEC championship game in Atlanta. But before the game kicks off at 3 o'clock, there's plenty to do in that area. Some people just go for the tailgate. They don't even go for the game. But our Jonathan Skinner now joins us live from the College Football Hall of Fame, which is in, within walking distance of the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Jonathan, how are things going? It looks like the activity is starting to pick up. Oh, it certainly is. They just opened the doors and a lot of kids are rushing in. And of course, there are a lot of people who will be here in town for the championship game who might want to stop by, especially with how rainy and cold it is outside. And I'm here talking with Mr. Yoman Brown from the College Football Hall of Fame. Mr. Brown, thank you so much for being with us today, man. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yes, sir. So we see the kids here, the kids behind us. They're excited. A lot of excitement this weekend. Tell us a little bit about the College Football Hall of Fame and, you know, having visitors here during this time. There is a lot of fanfare and pandemonium, as you can hear. Yeah. The fans come in. The College Football Hall of Fame is the only College Football Hall of Fame in America. So this is a tourist destination and a must-see attraction when fans come in to visit pregame. Yes, sir. And, of course, Georgia and Alabama playing this weekend tomorrow. They've come here often to the SEC Championship game. How excited are the fans when they get to come here, especially to the Hall of Fame itself? The fans are excited, and Alabama and Georgia, they are staples in the SEC Championship of late. But the good thing about the College Football Hall of Fame is that we have reimagined the Hall of Fame with new exhibits, things to do, interactors for young and old alike. If you have a fandom for each school, feel free to stop by because there is something for you this weekend. And let's sort of walk a little bit back here. So just sort of looking at, you have a lot of stuff sort of in this area. You have the sort of uh, interactive things that people can check out. You have different sort of uh, setups here. Tell us a little bit about what's all in here. So what's in here, they are exhibits where you can relive or reimagine that game day experience. You can sing your fight song karaoke. You can test against your friends and family in the 40-yard dash. You can see memorabilia from both schools or all schools. We represent not only the schools that are participating in the game, but all member institutions. One of the biggest wow factors that, you know, gets fans going, as soon as they walk in the building, we personalize the experience and tailor it to you, and you can light up the helmet that you are having affinity to that school. One of the coolest things are those helmets, to tell you the truth. How many helmets are there up on the wall overall? We have over 800 helmets on the wall, wow. so it's every conference, every school, new and old. We have it represented here at the College Football Hall of Fame. All right, so just before we go, I have to get a prediction from you, of course. What do you say about tomorrow's game? When I look at tomorrow's game, my measure of success is not on the field. It's how each fan base <laughs> really enjoys their time in Atlanta and making their time in Atlanta special, not only going to the game, making sure they stop by the College Football Hall of Fame. All right, we'll let you out with that easy one. All right, thank you, Yoman. I appreciate your time, bro. I appreciate bro. it. Thank yes, you guys sir. for having us. Yes, sir. Reporting from the College Football Hall of Fame in downtown Atlanta, Jonathan Skinner, WBRC Fox 6 News on your